I love this hypothesis. And as someone who is exquisitely sensitive to my environment with sluggish detox genes, with problems with my vitamin D receptor, with issues with my estrogen metabolism, I'm going to beg to differ. Okay. So I think there are ways to work around your genetic vulnerabilities. And I would imagine that some of those elderly, those super agers, have figured out ways to construct and architect their lifestyle such that they are working around these problems. So I'm going to hold out faith. All right. I would, <laughs> I would. And I would also add HLA DRB1. Okay. So I, I always like, especially this discussion with Dr. Saul, because I know she has an extensive background in genetics that we've talked about in the past as it relates to performance, specifically for NBA players and, and other professional athletes. This is how we first bonded. That's right. <laughs> and there's not many plastic surgeons who knows much, probably about genetics as I do, 